Hello witches and warlocks and welcome back to my channel. So nice to see you again. So it is again that time of the month. Um, it is witch casket unboxing and this is November. So we had obviously the Samhain box last uh, month and it was amazing. And I've been so excited for November's box. We're almost at the end of the year. Unfortunately, yes, we are on another lockdown. Um, so hopefully it's only going to be for the month. However, this is slightly different this time because I'm still working. Um, we're still rehearsing and getting ready for the shows. That hopefully will be going on in December. Um, so getting ready for Christmas. Um, which is fun and at least I'm still working and doing what I should be doing which has made my month really um, so um, I feel a lot better about this lockdown than I did the one before so if you are on lockdown around the country um, don't worry it won't be long we're all here for you we're sending out all our love and um, goodwill and good feelings out there to, into the world um, at this hard time I know it's tough so, it's now time to get to the good bit. It's, of course, the Witch Casket Unboxing. Now, for those who have never seen any of my videos before, or never seen a Witch Casket Unboxing, this is how it comes in this little blue packet. And so, no one knows what it is. Um, in fact, they just look like shoes. Um, again, if you are in the... If you are in the broom closet and nobody knows, and it's ideal really for when it turns up. When you open it up, it looks just like this. Oh yes. Um, it has a little picture of a lock there. Um, so it looks like a casket of some sort. Um, it's all black with gray marble in effect. It's really cool. Um, and of course, as always, you guys get to see the first look what's inside the box now this always happens so i'm prepared for it this time because they all it all falls out because it's so packed there we go so and it happened anyway <laughs> and no matter how much i try it just doesn't want to stay in um so yeah so here we go it looks like a black and gold maybe black black and Brack, brack and bronze, <laughs> black and bronze maybe. Um, so yeah, so that's what's inside the box. Um, at the top there, you'll see all the witch casket logo. Um, and just under here, once you open it up, you'll see the website, the obviously the Twitter, the Instagram, and of course, Facebook, um, as they have all of the social medias going on. Now, I was very excited last month um, because Obviously, I've been doing these uh, witch casket unboxings for almost, almost the well, actually, I've done it for a year now. So it's literally it will be um, over a year now that I've been doing these, and um, I didn't realise that all this time that I was doing them that actually um, the people that actually do um, witch casket, that produce witch casket, which are Deb and Ella, actually watch my videos and they commented last month. And I was so over the moon. I was like so oddly enough, weirdly enough, almost starstruck um, at the fact that these people that take so much effort into these boxes and amazing boxes actually take the time to watch my videos um, and actually enjoy them and actually commented and actually um, sent me a message to make sure that I was okay um, because I did say in my last video that I was feeling a bit low because of trolls. And they took the time out of their day to actually message me and say that they like my videos and to keep on doing what I'm doing and and, and to thank me for all the stuff I do um, on my videos about witch caskets. So it's so nice. Thank you, Debanella. Um, I was really happy and made my made my year. So uh, thank you very much. So here we go. So today's uh, today's witch casket unboxing um, is all about um, coven correspondence coven correspondence now for those out there um that's yeah it looks like a bronzy color bronzy black and bronze um for those out there who have never ever 
um, looked at witchcraft or know what witchcraft is or ever understand anything about witchcraft if you are a younger viewer. Um, a coven, um, for those who don't understand what it is, uh, I know most of my viewers will know what a coven is, but for those who, any chance that there are anyone out there that doesn't, um, this um, means a, basically a group of witches um, that come together and um, practice the art of witchcraft together. Um, now they could be any sort of uh, um, religion, doesn't necessarily have to be um, pagan like myself, um, they could be Christian, they could be, you know, um, anything basically. Uh, I can't think off the top of my head of, of all the religions there are, um, but pagan is just one of them. Um, but basically, um, they don't even have to be witches um, that come together. They could just, because um, witchcraft um, is an, a practice, so it's something you do. Um, you don't necessarily have to be pagan to do it. You don't necessarily have to be a witch as such to do it. You can just practice witchcraft. Anybody can practice witchcraft. Um, but majority of the time, if you practice witchcraft, it's because you're a witch um, or a, pa a pagan or whatever religion you may be. Um, but you can be pagan, you can be any religion, and you can still practice witchcraft. Um, but a coven usually consists of a few witches um, um, I must admit from my experience of covens, they're usually a minimum of four, um, or three, um, just because that tends to be the number that always happens to be. But, um, I'm a solitary witch, which means I don't practice with anybody. I have, I'm not part of a coven, um, I'm not part of any group, um, I just practice, um, by myself. Um, so, I'm just solitary. So, that's what a coven means, just a group of witches, um, or group of people that come together to do witchcraft. Um, <clears throat> so let's have a read. This little booklet that comes with um, with the box, um, it used to be a little slip of paper, it's not anymore, it gives you a little bit more information about it. So this says, November is our 48th witch casket. Oh yeah, so if I remember rightly, we celebrated, we celebrated three years, was it three years of Witch Casket last November? And I think this is the thought, fourth, fourth year? Must be. Um, yeah, so congratulations, Devonella, four years. Um, so uh, yes, it's the 48th Witch Casket. It's hard to believe that Witch Casket is four years old. Yeah, see, and this, uh, this month. Thank you all for being a part of such an amazing and magical journey. November's casket focuses on coven correspondence and celebrates the power of the written word. And we hope it encourages you all to put quill to paper and write down your intentions, experiences and magical uh, musing. Okay, so... Uh, I'm not going to read any further, but uh, that's from Debonella. They go on to tell you all about their um, emails and Twitter and ask you if you could kindly put anything that you do on um, any of their social media. It just helps them to get the word out. And I must admit, I haven't yet. Um, I'm not really much of a social media person. YouTube is probably the most I do. Um, I ha I do have Instagram and, and Facebook and all that business, but I'm very bad at posting anything on there that, uh, um, that is about anything I do, really. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that is the booklet. It does tell you what's inside the box, but I don't like to um, read what's inside the box. So I like to be surprised and find out if I do know what it is. Um, and if there is anything we don't know, then I'll read it at the end and we'll find out. So usually when we do um, a witch casket unboxing, there's always a card, um, like a postcard sort of thing with a design on it. Um, it used to be by Tea Cake Art. Um, was a big one from most of the time I've opened these boxes. Lately, we've been having some new designers and some new people, and they've been great cards. So this one is no different. This one is actually stunning, actually really nice. 
So it's this one. It's almost like a like a, a manga cartoon or something along that comic book type thing. And it's just a witch discovering her powers. Um, you've got obviously the Book of Shadows pages, candles, feather. Just practicing witch. It's quite cool. I quite like that one actually. It's cute. Um, ooh. Some new stuff going on in here. Um, Witch Cask exclusive current Coven Correspondence Set. So this has these cute little seals on the back. And they did this before with postcards. Um, that is so cool. Look at that. that. I love the seal, by the way. The seal is amazing. So let's open up this. Try not to break the seal. Because it's so cute. This is like a little black envelope. And I have slightly ripped the paper a little bit. But let's, uh, let's see what's inside here. Okay. So it just says on the basket with which classic exclusive covered correspondence set. So inside we got, ooh, we've got some black black envelopes so these are little cute little black envelopes they're just empty envelopes and we have some parchment paper with borders on it which is quite cute ah so it's basically oh they're all different so by looks of things we've got that one there we've got that one there and we got that one there. So basically it's a a writing set. So it's um it's paper and envelopes. Doesn't seem to be anything else in there. Um which is quite cool. That's really cute. I suppose that's what they mean by putting quill to <laughs> um quill to paper. It's a little cute little writing set, that's cool. So yeah, we got that. That's awesome. I must admit, I don't tend to, nobody writes letters anymore. Um, now, do you, with every witch casket, obviously we do tend to get, for those out there who don't know, we get like a spell kit or a charm bag or something that we can do, put together ourselves and do like a little ritual um, to get you started. So everything you need is in there. Um, and this one is a creativity charm bag kit creativity charm bag kit so there it's quite cute so we i'll open that at the end gives me something to look forward to have a look see what's inside okay now let's see what goodies we have in here today so every single box i've ever had of which cars get and hopefully forever more we always get um a a pin badge um, and I keep my pin badges on my little pin bad pin. I can't talk today. Pin badge board, and this has got to be the most gorgeous pin I have ever seen in my entire life. So it's an enamel pin, and it's a little quill and scroll. How cute is that? Oh my god! I mean, I thought last month's. Um, one was really cute with the whole Ouija board and the panchet um, pin badge. But this, oh my God, how cute is that? Uh, I swear, Dev and Ella just outdo themselves every box. That is the cutest badge I have ever seen. Oh my God, it's stunning, isn't it? Wow, that's so cute. So we always get a pin badge. Oh God, there's a, what a great pin, what a great pin. Right, let's see what else we've got in here. Okay, um, we usually uh, always get, um, I think we've only ever got once something different, but we always get a tea, um, a, like a loose leaf tea. Um, we once got coffee, um, but this is a tea by the looks of it. This is a creative, um, create tea, cre create, I think that says creative, 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 uh, cre creative, creative, 
I don't know, but they put tea in it somewhere, or maybe they just creative tea blend. I don't know, but they've is they it's like a play on words, I guess, and it's um, a brew to spark your imagination. So I could be saying that wrong. Creative, create, create tea, create tea blend. <laughs> So it's like creative tea. I don't know. I could be saying that wrong. I could be, who knows? I'm always doing this anyway. Oh well, it's all in the fun of the, the video, isn't it really? So yeah, so it's a creative tea blend, um, which is cool. Um, Cause we always get tea and it's always nice to try them. Okay, what? I don't know what to go with next. Okay, so this one. Oh no, oh my God. So this is a wax sealing kit. It comes in a cute bag. They always come in like these black baggies. They're either see-through or felt like this. But this is a wax. Oh man, this is so cute. Right. So it comes with how cute is this? So it says here, wax sealing kit. And it, the instructions on the back says, place wax peelings into the melting spoon, light, a can light the candle and place the spoon over the flame to melt the wax. Carefully pour hot wax into the area you want to seal to be press a press a press a seal into the hot wax allow it to dry okay that's cool so um, i do oh god i do apologize i tend to sit on my bottom while doing these videos and I never used to. And uh, lately I've been doing it and it makes my feet go numb. <laughs> okay, so um, you've got these little bits of wax here, um, a candle and a little spoon to uh, melt the wax, which is cute. Isn't that cute? Um, so yeah, so, and then you just press whatever seal you want into the wax, which I think is so cute. Okay. So yeah, so we've got a little seal, so we can make our own little seal, just like on the back of that. That's so cute. Okay, so what we got here, oh, and of course, <laughs> we need something to make the seal, so, this is the wax seal. So obviously you can print your seal onto it. This is cute. I'm doing this one handy. So this is a pentacle by the looks of things. It's hard to see because of the light. Um, but yeah, it's a pentacle. And it's got a little pattern around it as well. It's hard to see because then see if it will focus. I tend to focus on my face. But yeah, it's oh yeah, you can see a little bit better there. So it's a pentacle shape um, for the seal. So you melt the wax in the little spoon, pour it onto your letter, and then press this onto it, and then you can uh, send your seal with your letter. That's so cool, isn't it? What a cute little thing. So you could do it on anything, I guess. Like you could do it on your book of shadows at the end of your uh, thing to seal it. That's so cute. I suppose, depending on the color of wax you use, <coughs> excuse me, um, depending on the color of wax you use, depends on obviously the meaning of the seal, I guess. So like you use red, for instance, um, you could it could mean love or passion or, anything along that lines, you know, you can use black, it can mean protection, uh, white obviously just can be generic, so if you don't have any other colour wax, 
um, white can always be used for anything. Um, yeah, God, that's cool. I, I'm really liking this box. Definitely, you've outdone yourselves. Outdone yourselves. Okay, and we haven't had, we haven't been having a lot of this lately, and I think it's because there's a few people that moaned that they weren't a lover of it. Um, but I love um, incense, so we got some incense sticks. Thank you, Debonella, for putting them back in because I do enjoy having them um, in the box because they always smell so great. Um, and this is Angel's Touch incense. Um, and there's 15 sticks inside. Just gives you some description. It doesn't actually tell you um, what it smells of or what's. But it smells quite fresh, this one. Uh, I suppose you could read the ingredients, but I don't ever know where they are. But um, yeah, they always smell really cool. So it's called Angel's Touch, which I think is quite cute. Um, I have so much incense. Um, but you can never have too much because I go through it so much. Um, I go through loads of it. Right. Now, every single month, we I, we always get a crystal or a stone of some sort. And obviously, it's no difference this time. Um, so it comes in this little baggie like this. And of course, it always tells you what is in there. So I'm going to get this out because I'm doing this one handy. I'm trying to hold myself up. Um, because I'm, I'm laying like a mermaid on the dance, on the dance floor, on the dance floor? What am I like? I'm in work. Um, no, um, I'm laying like a mermaid on the floor, so I'm trying to hold myself up with one bit. So this is the stone, like that. It's really quite big one, it's quite weighty. It's got like a little blue section there. Um, it's quite marbled. Uh, it's got grey and black. It's cute. Oh, there's a big blue chunky bit. Um, yeah, it's quite cool. Right, let's try. <laughs> let's try, shall we? And um, and and uh, pronounce this. Now, I think I'm okay. I might be wrong. So it's called a lapis lazuli. Yeah, I think I because I've heard of this stone before. Um, this isn't this isn't a stone I'm not used to. Um, so it's got the lapis lazuli, um, and I'm not usually very good at those who don't watch my videos. Go back, you can see some disastrous times I've tried to pronounce these crystals. <laughs> but this is a lapis lazuli, um, and the lapis lazuli is a stone self expression and creativity, um, encouraging, encouraging confidence and honesty in the spoken or written word. It also inspires confidence and clarity and wisdom. So yeah, so this little card describes what the stone is, which is always handy to have um, because I don't know anything about crystals. So it's always nice to know what they mean and to nice to know what they're called as well. So eventually I'm gonna to have to take these crystals and uh, put them in boxes and label them because <laughs> I'm never gonna learn otherwise. Um, but I just don't have the time a lot of the time. Okay, um, so we also have ooh, this, which is magic within you. So it's a little tub and I'm assuming it's to put pens um, or quills <laughs> if you want to go that far. Um, so yeah, so that's cute. It's a little thing to go on your desk, put your pens in. That's quite cute, actually. Okay, ooh. There's more in here, I didn't realise. Okay, so then we've also got, obviously because uh, if you read and write, um, then they sent us a bookmark which says um, seek magic which is ideal if I suppose if you want to put in your book of shadows um, or in a spell book um, if there's a book I've got tons of books but if there's something you um, want to read put that in you won't lose your space it's quite handy I haven't seen a bookmark in ages <laughs> that's because nobody nobody reads books anymore apart from uh, 
librarians um because everything's everything is on um on ipads and stuff aren't they um and now you can also get like books spoken word like as in like uh, audio books um so nobody actually reads these days and if they are it's on a kindle or a, you know or it's a thingy i mean i must admit i was never a big reader um i only tend to read books that are about witchcraft and stuff i don't tend to i mean i was a big i was a big harry potter fan still am so i, I read the harry potter books and i was a big big roll doll fan so i liked like the witches and bfg and george's marvelous medicine um james and the giant peach the twits going back in time now some of you people out there probably won't know what i'm on about um but roll doll was an amazing author of children's books in the uk okay so you always get a scroll um for and a page for your book of shadows um and this one is the power of the written word and this is like a lovely little uh, piece of parchment um uh, almost looks tea stained um it's really cool and it, they always go over and above with the information um so as part as, uh, as part of your spells and rituals journaling positive writings book of shadows spell book grimoire so there's all the information about those four things i'll bring it a little bit closer so you can have a little read maybe you want to pause the video and uh, have a look so yeah there's our little scroll for the month so isn't that amazing what we got in there was just so, so much stuff um so we're gonna go and do our last little bit which is um our charm bag so this is creativity charm bag so let's open this again there's no nice way of opening this you just have to rip through it um so yeah Open this up. Ooh. Smells lovely, whatever it is. It smells like star anise. Okay, right. Oh, actually, it might be cloves. So it's a creative creativity charm bag. Um, it comes with a little card. Little cards are always cool. Quite like that. It's cute. So in this little bag, we have a little crystal. A little stone, it's quite cute. Could be a violet quartz, I guess. Purple quartz, or looks more violet to me. Uh, feels like a quartz though. Looks a bit quartz. Um, we'll find out, I guess, in a second. You get a little stone. You get a little white bag or silvery baggy which we know can represent protection we have of course cloves that's what i can smell always reminds me of the dentist so cloves great for toothache by the way um clove oil if you ever get a toothache and you can't get to the dentist especially at the moment with what, what's going on get some clove oil um and takes away the pain really good <laughs> um and then we have this one which have a little sniff so you get this little baggie these are all compostable by the way so you can put them in a compost and they'll just they'll won't damage the earth they'll they're actually decomposed okay it's hard to hard to tell what it is it smells like a bit tea-ish but it could be chamomile i suppose um, it's hard to tell because obviously it's been around to the um, cloves, which are very strong. So they sometimes can uh, can uh, absorb the smell sometimes. Okay, so we've got a white satin pouch or bag. It's there. We have cloves. 
for clarity. A little close for clarity. Um, we've got basil. Okay, so this is basil. Didn't smell like basil to me, but that could be because of the clothes. Um, but yeah, basil. I was actually looking for some basil the other day, actually. Um, and that's for creativity. And the stone is blue lace agate. Okay, so it's not quartz. That's for creativity and self-expression. So blue lace agate is what the crystal is. So blue lace agate. Well, there you go. I don't think I've ever had that crystal before, so it's quite cool. And of course it comes with the instructions, which I'm not going to give you because if you do want any of this stuff, you can buy it on their online store. Um, you can go to their website and you can buy all this on their store and you can buy stuff from other boxes which they have still available. Um, so if you want to do it yourself, you can buy the scrolls, you can buy everything you saw today um, and you can go into their online shop. Um, so I don't want to give it all away. Now, for those who've never had Witch Casket before, it's actually a quite um, a decent price as well. Um, it's actually £27 for the UK, that's including postage and packaging. Um, it's one of the cheapest ones out there, but one of the best, I've got to say. Amazing, amazing, so good. Um, so yeah, so if you want to um, do it, you can. They've just opened their December box. Um, so you can go online now and get the December one. The December one's always cool. Um, so yeah, so we might as well start now and then hopefully we'll have a great ending to the year. Um, but yeah, so do go and have a look. It does cost a little bit more outside of the country. Um, so if you, I, for instance, if you're in Ireland, like Ireland, um, and obviously America, Europe does cost a little bit more to do ship. Um, but obviously that's the same with any um, box you get from outside of the outside the country. So um, let's go through the list to make sure one we've got everything we need, and two um, to know exactly what everything is. And that, pretty much I think I know what everything is, but we just want to check. So um, we've got the Pentacle Seal, which is uh, for stamping those letters with the wax seal, which is really cool. Um, a wax sealing kit, which is really cool. Um, and then the wax sealing kit comes with a melting spoon, black wax pellets, um, blue um, tea light candle, an info card. Yep, that's cool. Um, seek the magic embossed um, bookmark, which is exclusive to its casket. You can't know, get it anywhere else. Um, Coven Correspondence Set, which is that, all of those fancy little letters. Um, let's have a look what else we got. Um, Magic Within You Desk Auto Organizer. So that's what that is. So it's to organize and put your stuff in. So your pens, papers, pens and quills and whatever stuff you use. Um, creativity charm kit, charm bag kit, yeah. We've got that. Um, yep, yeah. we got the quill and pentacle um, parchment enamel pin. Yeah, that's such a good pin, isn't it? So good. Um, the power of the written word parchment scroll, which we have got. Um, the lapis lazuli tumbled stone and info card. Yes, we've got that. Um, Stanford, in, uh, Stanford incense sticks. Yep, yeah, we got those. Um, the create, creative 
Creative Tea, Loose Leaf Tea, Creativity, that's got to be it, isn't it? Creativity. <laughs> got there in the end, what? Don't moan. Um, and then, of course, the A6 Art Print. Um, and this is by Aqueed. A a a Aquadine, something like that. It's A Q U A D E N. You can have a little look for yourself if you want to go online. She's got an Instagram by the looks of things. Oh, they've got an Instagram. Um, yeah, so that is your witch casket unboxing for November. Um, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then press the little uh, thumbs up button down the bottom. If you like my content and you want to see some more, why not subscribe and see what else is coming up. Um, I've got a little idea that I was thinking about doing. Um, so if you have any other ideas that um, you particularly want to see me do or want to find out a bit more about me, or you know anything at all then uh, leave a little comment if you like the video um, if there's something else you want to see you can leave a little comment in the, the box down below and also um, if you fancy um, you can press that little bell notification which means you will never miss out on any of my videos that are coming out um, now as I said I have got a a new idea that I'm gonna try out, um, which I've never done on here or on any line online at all, um, which is a bit scary for me to do, considering that obviously if you know me and you've seen my videos before, you'll know um, that I do a job related around entertainment, um, which means I um, sing and dance for a living. Um, so I was toying with the notion of having a um a witch sing saturday or witch sing sunday um where i will upload me singing for you um but obviously for me it's very scary because you know i've had i've had my first experience with trolls on here and the idea of putting something that I do for a living online and having criticism or negativity is very scary um, because it's something I do every day um, as my job and I'm paid for, I'm a professional performer and I get paid for it um, and that's what I do for a living. So I've never really expressed that online because I don't want to take the the chance of getting something negative um not that i should care what people think but um it can hit quite close to home when it's something that you are you know you 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 have been for the whole of your life and you do you've done for the whole of your life and you know um i and don't get me wrong i've taken criticism over the years um i'm not shy when it comes to people crit critiquing me when it comes to work um however some people just find the need to criticize for the idea of entertaining themselves and making someone feel bad um which does scare me when it comes to being online so tell me what you think this is something you might want to see me do i don't know um so i might give it a try and um so do watch out for that um i'm possibly going to do some singing online but yeah, so uh, that's it really. Um, that is Witch Casket unboxing for November. I cannot wait to see what they've got for us in December. Thank you, Deb and Ella. It is a pleasure to open your box and see what you give us every single month. It is so, so nice to have something so worthwhile. Um, because in this day and age, money doesn't go very far, but... For the amount of money that this box costs, you do get so much. I'm going to have great fun with all this new writing equipment. And, you know, might actually start 
writing some letters again. Who knows? Um, but yes, thank you very much. Thank you for watching out there. My subscribers are my most favourite people in the world. I really do adore you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos. Leave in the comments that you have. Um, I'm so overwhelmed by the amount of love I get on here. So thank you so much. Um, so for now, I'm going to say goodbye. But remember, you be you and blessed be.